Hello friends, welcome back to our MST class. So we are entering now the new unit. That is the last unit of MST. That is smart technologies. Let me share some PPT to you. Look at here. So. Unit 8, IMST, Industrial Management, Spot Technologies. So in this subject, uh, one to seven units uh, are comes under here, this part, uh, Industrial Management. But the last unit is Smart Technologies. So Smart Technologies, it is also known as IoT, Internet of Thinking. So simply, just different apps, uh, applications we are using in our mobile for smart life. So that is the concept here, I would internet of thinking. So in this thing, in this uh, last unit, we have only seven topics. So first one, get on overview of uh, IoT means introduction to internet of thinking. Smart technologies is also known as internet of thinking. Both are same, remember this thing, I would internet of thinking. So introduction to IoT. And next, uh, know how IoT works or protocol or procedures of IoT working. And next, uh, list of key features of IoT and components of IoT and softwares and technologies used in this IoT or smart technologies. And the next, uh, advantages and disadvantages of IoT. These are the general basic questions. Advantages, disadvantages, the software, so components, the features, and the process, right? And the seventh topic is here, IoT applications. Simply apps, apps in our phone, right? WhatsApp, Gmail, Drive, Flipkart. These are the different apps, phone pay, Google pay, Right, these are the different apps. So that app is nothing but application. So IoT apps or IoT applications, smart city app, smart energy and smart grid app, smart transportation app. Just the best example of this one, uh, smart transportation is uh, railway app, right? Next, smart home, smart buildings app, and then smart infrastructure apps. Next, smart factory app, smart manufacturing app, smart health app, food and water tracking and security systems, and it's related to apps, applications. Next, social networks and IoT. These are the different apps. So by using these apps in our phone and just feel our life is smart. So look at here, what is the exact meaning of IoT, Internet of Thinking? So look at this thing. The Internet of Thinking refers to a system of interrelated or interconnected objects. Look at here carefully. This PPT, the IoT is a system of interrelated and interconnected objects that are able to collect and transfer the data over a wireless network without human involvement. The personal and business activities or processes are endless. So due to this thing, the new technology is here, the connecting the objects and transfer of the data from one object to another object without involvement of a human being, that is IoT. Simply look at this last point. IoT literally means the physical items talking to each other, simply. Physical items talking to each other. Simply it provides facility to individual to connect with the world with the security. It provides facility to individuals to connect with the world with the security. So look at here, this image. So if we have a smartphone and we have smart apps in our phone, 
and then so it is a facility to connect with the world so connect individual connect with this world right so look at here air or plants next target related and computer softwares and employment career growth and banking systems each and everything we are connected with the world by using this smartphone and this smart apps so this smart apps is called as here iot applications right so here look at this paragraph physical items talking to each other simply it provide facility to individual to connect with the world with security example transportation business home education banks and all other connections by using smart technologies like whatsapp email facebook twitter online transfers payments like phone pay google pay next transactions by using smart apps like flipkart amazon so these are the different apps in our mobile right by using in mobile we can transfer of our goods uh, our funds to other persons and we can order and we can do the shopping and we can give the orders and take the uh, goods right so by using this mobile and its related apps we can know the each and every information so here this iot means the development of uh, these apps in our mobile so simply the individual person connect with the world by using this smartphones and smart apps that is the concept here smart technologies right so look at here the first thing the internet of thinking describes the network of physical objects or things that are surrounded with a sensor look at here surrounded with the sensor and software and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging the data connecting and exchanging the data with other devices and systems over the internet of thinking right by using internet the data exchanging and connecting the other devices and exchanging the data and connecting the devices by using the internet so that is the point here internet of thinking or smart devices right look at this slide so what is i would here internet of thinking is a system of interconnected devices that collect data from the surroundings environment to enable increased reactive and responsive use these data helps us make a better and more informed decisions so here simply by using app in our mobile so this is the mobile just look at this image this is the mobile just so in this mobile i have having the apps so through this apps or through this iot so these all other devices are connected and exchange the data and information and images or objects between them between them by using this app so this exchanging the data and connection between the devices by using internet is called as the iot right internet of thinking right now look at here the second topic know how iot works so just to have the six topics here six and plus one seven topics the several second topic is where know how it works protocol of iot iot protocol protocol is also known as procedures or practices of iot how it works how it works so here types of protocols look at here we already know some of the words bluetooth right mesh protocol wifi hello rfid lp ban cellular in mobiles cell cellular 3g mobiles 4g mobiles and 5g mobiles right so by using these different types of technologies 
we can transform our data on the objects and connect the other devices and transfer of our data to those devices. So simply IoT means, look at here, physical items. So this item and another item, these two talking with each other, right? So look at here, LP van, low power wide area networks. It is the new trend, new latest trend of transfer of data from one device to another device. And these three things, LAN, MAN, VAN. Just we have the three types of VANs here, that is networks, local area networks, multi-area networks, wide area networks. So these are the three types of networks. And next, SIGFOX. Look at another slide for SIGFOX. So SIGFOX means here, it is uh, just, uh, it is quite similar to Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. So SIGFOX is similar to Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. In fact, uh, it consumes little power and operates over a large distance than compared with the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth connections, right? So SIGFOX consumes a little power. So no having more battery. So consumes little power and operate over a large distance than compared with the Wi-Fi connections and Bluetooth connections. That is called as a SIGFOX. So SIGFOX, multi-area networks, LAN, local area networks, WAN, wide area networks. And next, LTE, CAT. So long-term evolution, that is called as LTE. It stands for wireless, wireless broadband, broadband communication for mobile devices and the data transfers, data transfers. So wireless communication for the mobiles for exchanging the data between the mobiles. Next, NB-IoT. So look at here. NB-IoT means it enables a wide range of new IoT devices. So it enables means it, it works for a wide area, wide range of uh, new IoT devices. So it is another technology. Another pro protocol is here, cellulars. So 3G mobiles, 4G mobiles, 5G mobiles. These are also exchanging the data between the devices. So IoT works. Next, GB, another network procedures. Next, Bluetooth and BLE. Bluetooth. BLE means here Bluetooth, low energy, and the Bluetooth. These are the two technologies for exchanging the data, right? So here, Bluetooth means Bluetooth means a short-range wireless technology. Standards stands that is used for exchanging the data between the fixed mobile devices, mobile devices. So once again short range wireless technology standard that is used for exchanging the data between the fixed and mobile devices that is called as here bluetooth and next wi-fi wi-fi means free form wireless fidelity wireless fidelity it is a full form of wi-fi so this wi-fi is connecting to a wi-fi lan local area networks between the mobiles for transfer of the data from one mobile to another device. Next, uh, RFID means radio frequency identification. So the frequency levels identification by using this RFID, right? So these are the few protocols or so processes of transfer of data from one device to another device. LP van, LAN, MAN, VAN, SIGFOX, LTE, NB, IoT, Cellulars, GB, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and RFID. These are the 12 protocols we have, 12 protocols.
So these 12 protocols is used for exchanging the data with the help of internet or without the help of internet. Next coming to the features of IoT. Features means simply characteristics of smart technologies. So by using ATM or by using our mobile apps, WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, Lab, uh, Google Pay, Phone, Flipkart, Amazon, these are the few apps. So through these apps, our life may be smarter than compared to with the older things. So look at here, the futures of IoT. The first one is speed. So transfer of data or transfer of money or, uh, or downloadings, what or know the information. Everything is here, speed, speed of the work. Next, having the accuracy levels, accuracy. So right and exact correct information we have from these apps, accuracy is there. Next, we have the safety and security also because even phone has passwords, right? Uh, patterns or thumbs or eye capture, right? Or voice capture to unlock the phone or unlock the mails. So each and every thing we have the passwords or thumb impressions or Irish captures. So through these things, we can have the safety and security of our information or our finance or money. Anytime, any place, anything, anybody can access these things. Right? And this is another feature or characteristics of smart technologies. And next, uh, having sensors. Each and everything. Look at this previous slide. These things LAN, MAN, WAN, SIGFOX, LTE, cellulars, GB, Bluetooth, Wi Fi. These are all things having the sensors and having the energies. And next, uh, these all things are based upon the artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. And uh, Another uh, special feature is here of IoT is that connecting to the globe, individual connected to the globe, and we have save the time. So these are the key features of Internet of Thinking. Next, well, these are the lists or components of IoT. That is server. We should have a server. Uh, it is server is also known as gateway. Next, sensors, routers. Next, data storages. It is also known as clouds. Next, user interface or mobiles, PCs, laptops. These three things are called as here user interfaces. Next, hardwares. So these are the different components by, by using IoT. Let's look at here. In this previous slide, you have the sensors, routers, clouds, user interfaces, and hardware. So cloud, this Microsoft Azure, Helix, Wisepass, Intel. These are the few different software companies to develop this cloud, this cloud component of IoT, right? So here, cloud means data storages. Next, devices like mobiles, PCs, and laptops. So here, Linux software development, Linux, Intel, Android, VxWorks, Windows, Embedded. These are the different companies used use for this software. Next, server or gateway. For this thing, Windows 10 IoT Core, Intel, Yocto Projects, and WindRivers, IDP. These are the few companies to use for this uh, server or gateway. The next sensors, ARM and Rocket. These two companies are used to manufacturing or producing these type of sensors, right? 
and now coming to the softwares and technologies data collection softwares the device integration softwares analytical softwares and the processing and sending the softwares and by using these all softwares we can transfer our data from one place to another place or and connecting the devices and exchanging the data between these two by using these types of uh, softwares so these are the major companies software development companies so some of the examples of here ERC software companies simply or software companies CEVA software companies NIST software companies ARM software company next ANDES COOP DDS next Kantiki SOC these are the few software development companies we have for the IOTs so these are software companies may help us to connect the two devices and exchanging the data between these two devices and by using these protocols LAN, MAN, MAN, SIGFOX, text, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, these all things with or without internet right so up to now we discussed the spot technologies in the last week of our MS training right in the next class we need to discuss what are the advantages or significance we have from these smart technologies and the drawbacks or limitations of having with us uh, IOTs and we will need to discuss the apps, different apps for smart life, right? Like smart cities, smart homes, smart health, smart power systems, or smart transportation, smart money, like this, right? In the next class, we need to discuss these all topics. Thanks for listening, guys. Stay home, stay safe. Be careful with the environment.